Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times, all social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you can be notified when I drop that heat, this video is sponsored by my boy Fast Classic, his mixtape is in the description box, it is absolutely free, definitely give him a download, give him a listen, and this video is sponsored by my boy Matt, definitely check his apparel out on IG at we all from, now, Hot news for today, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, rematch talks has closed. No rematch is going down next, and that's courtesy of the WBC and Mr. Suleiman. Now, they posted it on the WBC website. They also have it on their social media. Now, is this a disappointment Absolutely. Absolutely. And there's a lot of people out here that are saying that Tyson Fury, he, he ducking that fade. Like, he's ducking the rematch. Now, Tyson Fury signed with Bob Arum and Top Rank. And he's still with Frank Warren. So he basically has two co-promoters. And from what I was reading, Tyson Fury was saying he wanted to build his profile in the United States to make the rematch bigger. Listen, I'm not knocking any fighter for getting to the bag. You know what I'm saying? I'm not knocking that at all. If Bob Arum, top rank ESPN, came to him with a bag of money and he felt like it was best for him, then by all means, he he should have took it. But I don't have a problem with him coming up with the deal with ESPN and top rank and Bob Arum. It's the timing of it that's concerning. Like, it's the timing of it. Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury was basically in negotiations and they were getting ready to wrap up. Like, them, them negotiations was almost done and the rematch was going to be set. So, when the deal is almost done, then you go sign with Bob Arum and Top Rank. It's just bad timing. Like, it's really bad timing now don't get me wrong it's a strategic move on on bob aram's part and top rank espn because they're trying to monopolize the division like we've seen this before in the past back in the day don king he got all of the heavyweights under contract at one time years and years ago when he was trying to sign one or two fighters you know, big time heavyweights at that time and they wouldn't sign with him. So he signed everybody else in the heavyweight division. So that person that he was trying to sign and he couldn't sign them, they had to come to him anyway because eventually he was going to need opponents. And Don King controlled all of the opponents. So Bob Arum is basically doing the same thing. He wants to monopolize the heavyweight division. He wants control of the heavyweight division. So, why not go get Tyson Fury to entice Deontay Wilder to come over? See, I think he signed Tyson Fury to get Deontay Wilder. Because mathematically, it doesn't make any sense just to sign Tyson Fury by himself without having to get a Deontay Wilder. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, Top Rank and Bob Arum and ESPN, they don't have enough heavyweight fighters to validate the opportunity and the money that they're given 
Tyson Fury. I mean, no matter how they strategize it, at the end of the day, the biggest paydays are going to be Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua. And if you want to throw Dillian White in there in the UK, you could throw Dillian White in there as well. I understand the business play by Bob Aaron. Like, let me get that out of the way. I definitely understand it. But when you think about this situation, this diff- this situation is the exact same situation with Adonis Stevenson and Sergey Kovalev back in the day. They were in the middle of negotiations. Didn't work out. Was going to a purse bid. And then all of a sudden, Adonis Stevenson goes from HBO to sign it with Al Heyman. It wasn't the fact that Adonis Stevenson found a better deal for himself to provide for him and his family. It was strictly because the deal was damn near done for Adonis Stevenson and Sergey Kovalev. And he bailed out by signing a deal with a different network, which essentially what you were saying was, I don't want the fight with Sergey Kovalev. That's what Adonis Stevenson did. That's essentially what Tyson Fury is doing right now. Like he's showing by signing an agreement with Bob Arum and ESPN top rank that he's not 100% interested in getting a rematch. Not right now. He's not showing that. He's not showing that right now. And that's what the general public is saying. And do I think it's true? Partially. I think it partially is true. I don't think he's quote unquote like ducking, like in terms of being scared, because he already fought Deontay Wilder. Got knocked down twice, rose up from the dead the second time, like the Undertaker. So I don't think Tyson Fury is scared at all. I just think. Bob Arum top rank threw a, a crazy bag of money at him and had a whole plan for him and he just went along with it and he felt like he won the first fight so I guess for him he was content with that not saying that these two won't meet up down the line but you gotta you gotta strike while it's hot and people may not care about this fight 12 months from now or 18 months from now like timing is everything in boxing like And it's funny because Bob Arum loves the marinade fights. He loves the marinade fights. That's what he does. And it seems like that's what he's trying to do in this situation. Now, in this world, everybody's not treated the same. Everybody doesn't get the same criticism. It is what it is. That's life. But just imagine Deontay Wilder doing this same thing. Like, everybody would be up in arms about it. Like, he would get a different type of criticism than Tyson Fury if Deontay Wilder did this. Now, do I think they're going to jump in the ring in the future? I don't think so. I don't think so. It's just, it's too much politics going on. There's too many hands in the pot when it comes down to boxing. And this situation is no different. Like, we've seen this happen before in boxing's history. And... It is what it is, but I wish Tyson Fury the best. But I think outside of the money, of course, we talking just legacy and boxing history. I think he dropped the ball on this one because I don't know if he's going to get another opportunity to fight Deontay Wilder. And it's a disappointment for Deontay Wilder as well because I'm sure he wanted some get some get back. And he definitely said he wanted that smoke. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.